I'm Fiona, the pelvic floor physio with pelvicfloorexercise.com.au. And today I just want to teach you um, how to use a pop stick to take a measurement called GH plus PB, which is one of the most common measurements that we use the pop sticks for. If we have a little look at the pelvic floor, we're looking at the external layer here. GH plus PB is genital hiatus plus perineal body. There's a lot of research that shows us that the measurement GH plus PB correlates very closely to the size of the levator hiatus. And the larger this gap here in the pelvic floor muscles is, the more at risk women are of prolapsing either the bladder or the bowel or the uterus. So as one of our measurements in the clinic, we will often use the pop stick, which is also used to do a prolapse um, staging um, measurement by gynecologists and physiotherapists. If we have a little look at the, the pelvic floor with your patient, what we're measuring is the perineal body, which goes from the posterior fourchette to the middle of the anus. And we're looking at the genital hiatus, which goes from the urethra to the posterior fourchette. We then add those measurements together. So with your pop stick, you're placing it next to the anus on the patient and measuring the distance from the middle of the anus to the urethra. You then ask your patient to do a valsalva or a bearing down. Now we really need to get them to do this for a few seconds of bearing down and you note during that time how much the measurement extends. As the perineal body bulges out, the measurement will extend on your stick. How far that extends will give you a very clear idea as to the ballooning of the size of the levator hiatus. How much is it ballooning? The larger it moves, the less support there is in the elastic tissue there. And we therefore know that the woman is probably more at risk of uh, developing a prolapse if she hasn't already.